Hey guys, GNT here, and today we're talking about Dragon Ball Super Chapter 72. And uh, the thing is, not a lot went on in this uh, chapter as far as um, progressing story-wise, but goodness, it is a battle chapter, and it is good. <laughs> uh, the only problem that I have is, you know, when the battles are going on and then there's no progression because this is a monthly thing instead of just being a weekly um series so you know you, you hope for a little bit more progression with each chapter due to it taking so long for you to get another one but it was a decent battle chapter you know Goku did his Goku thing he, he starts off small and works his way up <laughs> like he and Vegeta get there to um freaking was it planet cereal <laughs> the Cerulean's yeah uh Granola, goodness, these names, dog, man, the names. But who Granola is clearly under the impression that um, you know, they're working for Frieza. I mean, he's kind of dumb, but most characters in Dragon Ball are. <laughs> Which, speaking of being dumb, Goku is doing his Goku thing that happens a lot in Super, and by that I mean he's getting hit with jump that he shouldn't be hit by. You know, like they're trying to say that that the hits are like super accurate, but the thing is, oh, thank you, computer, for telling me that video is done. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, Goku should still be able to avoid this jump. Like a, a blast hitting him, just if Vegeta can dodge it, Goku should be able to dodge it. He's like, oh, Goku, don't be relying on that there Ultra Instinct too much. You should still be able to dodge this junk. It's like, oh, this has happened too many times in Super. And Goku, while Goku is not, uh, you know, knowledgeable in studies, <laughs> like book-wise, he's an idiot. But other than that, He's not a freaking toddler. Like, Super makes Goku way too dumb. Like, Goku... Goku is dumb. Yes. He's not as dumb as he's made to be in Super. And that bothers me every time I see it. But... It's what it is. Who cares, right? We're, we're, we're not... It, it does bother me. I was about to say, we're not bothered by these things. I, it, it bothers me. It bothers me a lot. But, uh... Vegeta, on the other hand, Super has done the exact opposite for Vegeta. It's <laughs> it's slowly making him better and better to where I, I am now slowly becoming a Vegeta fan. I was not before. Like, I'm getting there now, though. Because here's the thing. At the beginning of Super, you know how it is. Vegeta wants to, um, well, uh, flip. I'm thinking of the freeze of uh, thing. Vegeta would want to come out there and, and fight first. But Goku goes at first, right? But here, Vegeta offers up Goku first. He's like, go ahead and go out there and fight, bro. And while he's fighting, Vegeta's inspecting things, seeing what's going on, what's going down, checking out everything about the opponent. And it's like, man, this is great. This is this is this is a wonderful character here. You know? Gone are the days of I'm going to defeat him before you do, Kakarot. And now it's all, hey, you go on and go. I'm going to check stuff out. <laughs> oh, goodness. Vegeta's being what he should be. Smart. You know, unlike Goku, he's not completely, um, what's that word they don't like you to use on, on the YouTubes? Retarded. <laughs> oh, goodness. But, yeah. Uh, flip. Other than that, though, not a ton here to talk about. They had a battle in freaking Granola's, like, super powerful and junk. He's fighting Goku, uh, evenly in blue form, which, I mean, if he's the strongest in the universe, that shouldn't be a thing. He should be beating him immediately, but I'm assuming, like, next chapter it'll probably start with Goku going down, and then we'll have some explanation and some talks, because I, I can almost guarantee you this fight isn't going to finish out, you know? They're going to have a little bit more of a clash, and then they're going to talk. And he's going to be like, hey, bro, we don't we don't work for Freezer. You know that, right? 
And then he's gonna be like, well, why are you wearing the armor? But he, and then, <laughs> Vegeta's gonna be like, mm, touche. <laughs> You've got me there. This is kind of styled like Frieza's armor. Okay, you got me, bro. I'm sorry about that. It's just kind of how I dress. I've been doing it since I was a child. It is what it is. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it for this chapter. Vegeta at the end, he's like, it's making sense. I think I know who he is, and that's it. There's your chapter. It was fun. Like, um... The thing about this is, with the Dragon Ball Super manga, the art style just, just, ugh. It's, it's always so dang fun to look at. So it draws you in. And that's one thing that I didn't really like about the Super Show. Because while they were doing stuff that was cool sometimes it would look really jank for the most part like you would get certain things like uh my favorite arc is the Goku Black arc but mostly because I like Goku Black <laughs> but when you have Vegito fighting Zamasu that stuff looked real good but then you had other stuff that looked like absolute garbage and that's the problem with the the show that the manga does not have when you're reading the manga you're always getting some good looking art. And man, was this nice to see. Like when you see transformations in junk, like you see Goku go to Super Saiyan God, and it's like, ha ha, nice, dope, cool. You know, cause that's, that's nothing too crazy. But then when he goes blue, and you see all the extra energy particles and junk around him like the blue transformation usually does, it looks so good, man. Because in the show, eventually they just started to abandon that. They abandoned the extra uh, effects to transformations and junk. And it was just like regular transformations. But, anywho, enough of that. That's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this here video. And I will see you next time. Peace out and have a great day.